Okay. Um, as you can see, it's just me today. Uh, Chelsea, uh, we had a bit of a crazy night with uh, with fear, so Chelsea's pretty exhausted. Um, so we're going to be going through a workout. This has got two 10, um, 10 to 1 ladders in it. Uh, one's going to be more kind of jujitsu movement based, and then the other one is going to be more kind of um, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exercise based. Okay, but should be a good workout. Goal is to go through these as, as fast as possible. The hair is looking on point today. But anyway, let's get through our workout, or let's get started on our workout. And then we can talk about the uh, different drills that we have going. So we've been doing this all week. First one, just uh, I want you to go up onto your tippy toes. You're going to press back through your hands. Just stay here for a couple of seconds and pulse those feet. Just taking a couple of moments. Okay, take so back leg. In fact, sorry, next one what I want to do is you're going to come over your hands. So I'm coming forwards over my wrists and then just pushing back. Okay, so I'm really trying to work out my wrists a little bit here. And then just, your goal is to drive through the floor to warm up those shoulders as well. Okay, nice. Now, you're going to take one leg. I'm using my right leg. You can do exactly the same thing up towards the ceiling. You can either go straight here like a, a, a three-legged dog, or you can bend it, open out the hip a little bit more, and then come in towards your lead elbow. Just hold for a second. Back up to the ceiling and open, and then in towards your nose. That's happening today, which is good. I wasn't expecting it to. Open it, and then across to the left elbow. More time. Open it. And you're going to take a big, giant step to the outside of your hand. Okay, from here, we're going to bend and straighten our rear leg. Don't need to touch the ground. Just press through. Nice. Okay, and now rotate up off your torso, one direction and the other. Nice. Okay, now one hand in front, uh, in between your legs, drop your back knee, untuck your toe. You're gonna pull back and then drop into that lunge. Okay, so we're trying to go through these two movements, loosening off our hips a little bit. Nice. Okay, you're gonna spin towards this side so you guys get to look at my butt. I'm just spin all the way around so you guys can see. Okay, you're just going to go into this wide leg position here. You can walk your hands around a little bit. This floor really needs to be vacuumed. And then towards the other side. Nice. Okay, now spin back around towards your right. Okay, you're going to go to a low push-up. Drop your knees to the ground. Okay, now engage your back. Press up and look up. And just hold for a second, toes under, pull back to downward dog again. And then we go through the other side, same thing. So up towards the ceiling, opening out that hip. And then in towards the elbow, sending up to the ceiling, opening the hip, in towards your nose, up to the ceiling, and open, and then across. And the last one up to the ceiling, big step to the outside. Bending and straightening that back leg. Just pulsing it through. Nice. And now thoracic rotations. Rotating up towards the ceiling. Nice. Okay, drop that back knee. Toes to the ground. You're going to pull back and lunge. Keep going through these two movements. Nice. Okay, now you're going to pull back, go into a Cossack stretch. It doesn't have to be super low. Okay, just make sure that your knee is tracking over your toes and you're trying to keep your butt back. Okay, so we're not leaning forward too much, keeping that weight back in our butt, in our heels, and then just go side to side. Okay, pivot towards the front, down into a low press up, and then you're going to arch up 
all the way to upward dog. Hold for a second. And now you're going to pull back. Downward dog. Just hold for a second. And then just slowly start to walk your feet in towards your hands. And then we'll rest from there. Okay, so we have a ladder today. I'm going to quickly grab Kieran, my helpful training assistant. Like using a dummy is definitely not essential for these drills, um, but I think it might just make it a little bit easier for you guys if you've never done some of them before, just to see what's going on. In fact, just one of them, which is the top spin. So our first one, we're doing guard pulls. We're doing this a lot. It's like a negative single leg squat. So we're here. I'm just going to squat down. So try and get my foot up, and then I stand back up from there. That's our first one. Very, really simple. Then we have double legs. So we're going to level change and come up from there. Really easy. We have top spins. So again, this is the only one where I wanted to just demonstrate. So we're going to start here on our side. Leg comes around, switch around to the other side. Okay, you don't need a dummy to do that. You can do it on the floor. Okay, I always like to use a line. So if you imagine this is the head end, you can step all the way around and come back up. <clears throat> and then the final one, you're going to do a bridge and shrimp combination. So on your back, you bridge up, shrimp your hips back. Okay, so we do 10 of each of those. Nine, eight, seven, all the way down to one. And you record your time. Your goal is to go as fast as possible. Uh, I think this is 55 reps in total of each of those, which is going to be good. So we have been joined. Sorry, do you want me to get start? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Chelsea's woken up, which is nice. Why did you wake me up? Why was I doing the thing? Do you want me to the story? Yeah, sure. Hey everybody, bye everybody. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna go uh, through those exercises. That was a brief interlude. Um, you know, this is our shed after all. Uh, right, let's get it going. Let me put this up. Here we go. So, single legs are first. And go. Go all the space they got. Again, the nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, double. Back to the beginning. 
So we're right. the MRO sevens. Sixes. We're getting down through the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, three, four, five, six. Just over five minutes. Right, 
Last one. Here we go. One. One. Two. Seven fifty eight. So if you keep, keep going, but we're still going, keep going until we're done. You might want to pause here. If you need more time, which is cool. And then we're gonna jump straight into the next part of the workout. I right, say so 758. 758, yeah. Oh my brain. It's not working today. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, 758. Nice. Okay, the next bit. Again, this is a 10 to 1 ladder that we're going to be doing. It's going to be slightly uh, more exercise based. There's quite a lot of legs in there as well. It's, it's always leg day, basically. Okay. Doesn't matter even if it's not leg day, it's always leg day. Hopefully, you're starting to realize how important that is when we're doing our. Um, like our guard movement, our guard passing movements, they're super taxing on the legs. All right, so the first one is rock squats. Okay, so we've done these many, many times. You're just going to stand up from here and then lay back down, arms overhead. Second one is sumo squats with a pulse. So my head's cut off camera. Let's go up a little bit. From here, I'm going to squat, pulse, that's one rep. Then we have squat thrusts, really simple. Make sure those knees come in and out. And then we're gonna do pike to a press. Okay, so from here, you might wanna put something under your feet if you can. You can slide your feet out or up. Okay, and we're gonna go out, down. Okay. That's gonna be, well that would've been two reps in total. Okay, so it's gonna be quite challenging after the, the rest of the, the exercises. Like I say, you can do this with socks on if you want. That'll make the slide easier. Or put like a towel under your feet if you've got those slidey pads. That's perfect for this. Okay, so pike into press up and then repeat for 10. So again, 10 to one. Goal is to go as quick as you can. <clears throat> Probably a little bit burning in the legs already. That's okay. So rock squats are first. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sumo with pulse. One, two, three. These always take a little bit longer. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, squat thrust. I thought a little bit slower. So we're on nines.
Okay, so pipe with the press. Rock squats for eight now. Ooh, sevens. We're getting through it. That was like the hard bit of the workout. <laughs> that was about half the reps. One six this. It's definitely getting easier. Bike ups for six. Six. Box cuts, one five. This is the easy part now. Yeah. <sighs> 
Legs are up towards the floor. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Two legs. Okay, good. We're on twos. Sorry, I completely forgot what was happening. Lack of oxygen. Two. So again guys, you want to stop the video now, finish your workout, that's cool, and resume it. What did I say? 937. So, that was a good challenge and workout. Remember, we ain't done yet though, okay? We've got our abs to do, hence why I said stop the video. Uh, we can do our jiu-jitsu abs. Remember, quick run through, hands on the shoulder blades, head cradled, just keep them here the whole time. Try and keep your legs off the ground as much as possible. We're gonna do 10 reps of 10 different foot positions. We're gonna get it done now. Okay, so first one, feet together, knees together, hands behind your neck. Okay, remember, keep them in this position and crunch up on my count. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready, one, two, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Knees up, toes out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together. Knees wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Onto your side. Okay, crunching up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Into our De La Hipa position. No feet on the ground, remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, wait, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs out straight. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Face down. Okay, hands by your temples. Engage that uh, lower back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arm out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Switch it over. One, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go onto your forearms. Sphinx pose. Just hang out here. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a mobility work. So the workout itself is actually relatively short, uh, under 20 minutes today, well, depending on how fast you went, obviously. So we're going to spend a little bit of time just stretching up our hips and like the front half of our body because we did a lot of work on those, those groups, particularly in that, actually over the last few days. Okay, so we're just going to spend a little bit of time working them out uh, and loosening them off a little bit. Okay. So just relax here. Okay, now when you're ready, okay, tug those toes, or you can go up into all fours and then push back into downward facing dog. And we're just gonna relax here for a second. You can pedal those feet if you want, just to work the calves a little bit. Nice, now, you're gonna take one leg up just as we did before. We can go up to three-legged dog, okay, or you can start to open it out in this direction. Keep extending through those arms and hold. Nice, now we're gonna bring that leg all the way through, place it in front. And we're actually gonna to go to a uh, pigeon pose. So we've got our foot hooked underneath. Okay, we can sort of all our weight in our hands on the tops of the back foot. Okay, you're gonna breathe in and then you're gonna drop down. Try and connect your head be the last thing, not the first thing. Just get as low as you can. And keep that back leg engaged. It's very similar to our 90-90 position. You feel any pinching in your knee? Then just ease out of it, come out of it. Okay, you're gonna walk your hands back up. Okay, so we're in this position now. What I want you to do is you're gonna keep uh, one hand on the floor supporting, other leg's gonna pull up. You're gonna try and reach back for those toes. Okay, and then just stay in this position. Try and sink it down a little bit. As you can see, I'm kind of sweaty. Nice, release, inhale, exhale, and then drop back down, back into a 90-90 position. Now you're gonna come up again, sink back onto your hip, this leg's gonna come all the way around, and we're going to our half lord of the fishes. Chest up, pulling that knee in. Keep that chest up. Okay, now, if you feel comfortable, you can let this leg kind of slide out. And we're gonna try and stack Okay, we're gonna try and stack one knee on top of the other here. Ooh, it's pinching my, my skin. And just rest in this position with your hips square. So there shouldn't really be any weight on this, this top leg here. And you'll feel a, a stretch in the hip. Just gonna hold for a second. Nice, now slowly bring this back out and around onto your knees, okay. Into a push up, low push up, up dog, hold for a second. We're gonna pull back into our down dog, hold for a second again. You can pedal the feet a little bit. 
And then we're going to take the left leg straight up to the ceiling. It all open it out. Now from here, we're going to bring that leg all the way in front. Get on the ground. Try and get it open to 90 degrees. Stacking the hip over the heel. Okay, keep your hips relatively square. You're going to inhale and then exhale. Keep the chest forwards. Drop down. And we're just going to spend a second here. Walking it back up. Okay, now, same thing. We're going to grab that back foot. Okay, let our hips slide away a little bit. And hold. Okay, let it go to the ground. Inhale. And then exhale. Drop it down low as you can go. Chest to the floor and push back into that hip a little bit if you want to, to this hip. We can engage the back leg. Remember, you shouldn't feel any pain in your knees. Okay, from here, pushing up, we're gonna sink back. Legs gonna come all the way around, over the top, hug, chest up. If you want, you can start looking around. Right now I just feel like I, this is gonna give me the stretch that I want in my hip. Okay, now take this leg out a little bit. You're gonna try, if you can, stack the knees on top of each other, pulling it back, and then just try and sit naturally over the hip if you get a little bit of a stretch in here, that's all we're looking for. We're just gonna hang in this position. I realize I'm wearing a terrible color. There's not a lot of contrast between my legs and any, well, any part of my body. <laughs> nice, bring that leg all the way around behind you. Come onto all fours. Okay, press up position. Down, do a low push up. Up dog or your cobra. And then pull back into down dog. Press here for a second. And then slowly come back in. Okay guys, so hopefully that's opened up your hips a little bit. If you wanna do any more work on it, that's great. Um, I've gotta go and deal with the baby, but have a great day. Remember tonight, if you're part of our either Escapeology Online or Rolling Dojo, we have the mobility ward with Jez. There'll be a lot more stuff like this. Really, really good stretching. It's not just mobility. It's about strengthening at the end of the range of the movement, which um, is so important in jiu-jitsu. Okay, because we go through all those weird, weird positions. Okay, and you have to be able to use it, like, you know, upside down and still be able to lift your leg up off the ground, all kinds of things, with safely as well. Okay, and they're really good sessions. I've noticed a big difference. Um, we've only been doing them a few weeks, but I've already, you know, I've noticed a difference in my ability to sit in this position Okay, before I was kind of back here, and now I'm very much a lot more upright, and I'm getting closer to the ground, which is one of the things that I was hoping to gain from this. All right, so if you can make him, great.